All right, we've got a trimmed Packer Cut Prime Brisket. If you want to see how to trim a brisket like a pro, check out my other brisket trimming video. So this was a 12 pound brisket. Now it's probably down to about nine pounds. So I'm gonna show you how uh, the pit masters here in Central Texas, uh, mostly, most of them season their brisket. First of all, they use mustard, yellow mustard, just plain old yellow mustard as a slather. Then you're gonna use a 50-50 blend of coarse kosher salt. Definitely use the coarse stuff. If you use the thin stuff, you know, the regular uh, granulated salt, it's gonna be way too salty. You want coarse kosher salt. And then finally, some black pepper. And all you do is do a 50-50 mixture. So you take a cup of kosher salt, a cup of black pepper, mix it all up, and I've got some right here, 50-50. So first thing, start with a slather. Just throw some mustard down on it. Rub it all over. Don't forget the sides. Both sides. Some more mustard. Just like that. And the only the, the, the mustard you're not going to taste in the brisket in the final cook. The purpose of the mustard is just to to bind the uh, rub onto the brisket itself. So next, I'm going to take my 50/50 kosher salt and black pepper, and I'm just going to put an even coat all over. So if you go to Terry Black's Barbecue here in Austin, Texas. La Barbecue uh, here in Austin or Micklewaite or any of the other craft barbecue places, this is what they're going to be doing. Some, some of them use a little bit of a vegetable oil instead of the mustard. That's another thing. I just I prefer mustard. It's a little less messy. But the soybean oil, vegetable oil works just fine. Olive oil if you want to get fancy. Don't forget to do the sides, very important. And I'll give it a little pat to kind of make it bind better with, with the, the meat. Just kind of pat it down a little bit. It's kind of hard to oversalt, so don't be afraid. I mean, it's possible, I'm sure, but I've never really had an issue with that. So this is what's going to give you that nice, dark, blackish bark. Is When this salt and pepper mixes with the smoke of your smoker, it's going to create that bark. Finally, the top of the brisket. There you have it. It's ready for the smoker.